time for some van modifications. Now I bought something without actually thinking about where I was going to put this said thing. And now I'm like, I don't really know where it's gonna go. I'm looking around the van going, you don't have as much carpet as you thought you had, like wall carpet stuff. And it's these things, it's these string bags, which you could just put books or magazines or, you know, obviously nothing that's gonna fall out. You could put fruit in them while you're traveling, that kind of thing. Um, the reality of it is, I don't have that much wall space especially when the bed comes down, it's really only the door panel. Well, obviously if I've got something in it and then I try and open the door, I'm just going to go, aren't I? And I'm going to damage things because I'm not going to remember. Um, there's underneath where you are currently sat. But I think when the bed comes out, that's going to interfere maybe. I might be able to get one on there, but I've got two of these things. I can't remember how much they were off the top of my head, but I will put a link in the description below to, it is an affiliate link, I literally get pennies. But if you're looking at buying these or possibly buying them then I'd appreciate it if you would like to go through my link because it does help me buy more things for my van um but I appreciate that you don't have to do that whatsoever um yeah so there, there is that there is this like that I haven't really thought about where I'm going to put it is basically what I'm trying to say but I might be able to put one down there or maybe one up there the other thing I want to do is create this into a shelf where I can put when I'm not driving because I don't want this to get hot by being sat in the window the whole time. Put my speaker for when I'm parked up, but also have things like my washing up liquid and my hand soap and anything else that, you know, is upright. Rather than having it lay down, floating around, banging about in here, I'd like it to be behind here. And I was trying to think of a way to do that. And I think the simplest way is to either use these eyelets, which I've bought, which were a couple of pound, get these from hardware stores but I bought mine off of Amazon because I'm still getting lots of things from Amazon because it's easier during the whole Covid thing to be doing that than going around town for every time you find you need something um so yes these eyelets but I think these might be overkill if I'm honest and then I got this for £5 something, which is a mixed box of hooks. There's no eyelets in there, unfortunately. They're all hooks. Um, but my thought process is that I will use these to go into here at different intervals. And then I'll use some bright elastic to make like a webbing from one end to the other and back again. And then I can just slot the bits in and drive around with them and hopefully they will stay there in theory but I'm going to give it a go and we'll see how it works if it doesn't work it doesn't work you don't know unless you try that was my kind of thinking process on it so let's do that first Okie dokie, let's try with some elastic. I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with the green, I think maybe. A bit of bright green. It might be that I use a different colour, one on the top, one on the bottom. You know, we'll see. Uh, maybe if I tie a knot would be the best thing to do. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Didn't really go to plan, did it? thing I find with van life is you just got to jimmy stuff really. It's all about finding unique solutions to your personal individual problems in your personal individual van. I mean you can get ideas from other people. You never know, this might, somebody out there might be having a similar situation going how am I going to put things on the windowsill and keep them there, you know, and you can maybe use this idea. But Everybody's van is very different and very unique to them. Right, okay, is that? Yep. Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's go that way. And then that way. And then that way. And then I want a loop on there. Now, how tight do I want it? That's the question. I don't want it so tight that it's going to put so much pressure. I don't want things to fall out either, so. And then 
there is the fact that it might knock against the window you see and it might be too rattly and annoying but I think you have to try these things don't you so we'll give it a go we'll give it a go put a loop de loop in a loop de loop Okay. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think it feels tight enough. I mean, maybe by the time we get here, obviously, the more things I stack in there, the better it'll be. Uh, what have I got? hand gel in there. Is that going to slide do you think? Then what do you do? Do you put little nobbles in maybe? Bits? Blocks in maybe? I don't know. What would you do? It's tricky isn't it? I think I'll go with that for now and we'll see how it works and if everything goes flying everything goes flying but I'll give it a go for now. Right, one job done. Give it a go. All you do is start it. No, it's just hold it with your left hand. Right. Up to the other left. The other left. Other left. <laughs> and then just reach in like that and just lift it at the same time as pulling it. So lift it very slightly. That does actually make it easier. It's still a strain, but it definitely makes it easier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, um, that's a bit better. It is. I mean, I could do, we could. Um, so I think it needs. It needs a stronger hook. It needs a stronger hook and it needs to be further this way, does it? Yeah, I just need to stick something down there to see if it's actually. See, I don't know what's. I don't. Know, I don't want to pull your whole roof down with it. So yeah. I don't know what's. If there's nothing there, you would have thought it'd be absolutely. Fine. I think it's all in. Yeah, there's a lot of insulation. We've made significant progress. So, uh, one of the children I look after. If you watch my vlogs, you will know Thomas. Well, his family were just walking past my house, and I was just talking. I opened the van, and they were like having a look, going, "Oh, your van is so nice." And Thomas's dad, when I happened to mention that I was struggling with moving the rock and roll bed, came up with exactly the same idea that I've been having, which is having a kind of lever system, like a pulley system going on. And I've got various bits that I could have used, but I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Anyway, he has, well, we've jimmied it. We need a much more significant hook. And I don't think there's a beam where we need it to be. So we need to try and spread the load maybe by having maybe a hook or an eye with four points of screwing it in so that we don't pull it out of the ceiling but let me show you what we've done and it works brilliantly and it protects my back brilliantly so yeah we've got i've got this and a big hook on the end which i had i can't remember what it was from but it was from something um that i bought for the van and it was left over so i've saved it and there is one of those hooks that i've just bought well actually one of those eyes that i've just bought it's not going to do the job it needs something more substantial but for now, we've tried it a few times and it does work. And I literally stand in the doorway here when the bed is fully out. And I push my knee against that corner and I pull this. And as I pull this, it lifts the middle because it's hooked to the middle bar and it moves. And I, and I, I don't have to bend over at all and it protects my back. And I literally just pull it and it gets it moving and I can... Oh, how about that? I was thinking it's never going to be that easy. I'm thinking about a pulley and it's not going to work. And he came into the car into the van and went, "You need a pulley system." Thank you. That's what I was thinking. So yeah, I'm I'm feeling really chuffed about the fact that we have worked out a pulley system to make the bed move quicker and easier and less straining on my back. Um, so this seems to be okay for now. Obviously, I'm not going to leave that there in the sun while I'm driving that speaker, but the other stuff will be fine. And then I will see how well things stay there. It might be that I need to maybe get a cutlery block or something just to go in and obviously it'll be held in by this but it will stop things from sliding across oh let me show you what i've done for my gas canister now i appreciate this is not the safest way to carry a gas canister and and everything else and i'm going to get all sorts of criticism for this i know but this velcro is beyond strong i mean ridiculously strong um and this net is tight um and it's in a in a bag um so 
you know I have my cushions around here anyway when I'm driving so nothing's even if I have to brake hard it's going to go forwards or backwards but it's not going to go very far because there's going to be cushions and there's also going to be that net holding it in place so I know it's not in a cupboard it's not plumbed in properly and everything else the gas is always turned off here when I'm not using it but look at that that just that is sorted I have sorted it and it does me fine so I'm happy with that I'm happy I know it's not conventional and I know there's probably going to be people out there going you shouldn't be advising people and I'm not advising you to do it I'm not advising you to do it but it's working for me and I'm going to go with it